Hello everyone, so in this video I'm going to be showing you something I've been working on recently. I've loaded a piece of software onto my Raspberry Pi here called Kippo, which is a SSH honeypot. And what that basically is, is it's a virtualized SSH session which you make available online and it lets you log attempts to hack into the Raspberry Pi. Um, it's made to look vulnerable so it lures people in and you can, you can see how they interact with it. Um, what I've done differently, instead of having it output log files, the, the output, the results to a log file, it outputs instead to a thermal printer. So I can show you really quickly. If I bring up Putty here and enter the IP address of which Kippo is running on, and then press to connect, you'll see it comes out on this printer here, and you can see the, so you can see what's happening there. And if I try to log in with fake username and password, and try a few times, you can see each action comes out on the thermal print here. So you can see, uh, if I find it on here, login attempt, username Barney, password hello, failed. So, you, yeah. Um, what I've, the code the I can in the comments I'll put a link to the soft, the uh, GitHub repo which lets you pr you print using Python to the thermal printer. I've also put in a guide which I followed to install Kippo on the Raspberry Pi. It's, it's quite simple. It's really just an app to get install and minor configurations. One of the things you have to do is because um, Kippo runs on port. 2222 you have to use well you, there's a few ways of getting around it but I used IP tables to forward anything coming in on port anything coming on from port 22 to 2222 so you can do it on the router but there's, there's a guide that I'm going to put in the comments which shows you how you do that um, the code also for the thermal printer I'll put on there as well um, if for example someone logs in if I make a new session with Putty and they log in using the correct details you usually find it takes maybe a 10 seconds or so to log in ok so now I'm logged in it shows you on the print as you can see that it's displaying the message of the day to the, to the person who's logged in and if I do directory universal, for example, just cd and ls and all those sort of different commands there and make directory different commands, it will show you the command they're typing on the thermal printer here so you can see what they're typing in. If they do get into the Raspberry, into the Kippo honeypot, you can see what they're doing. Um, I can quickly run through the program, the script real quick that I used to get this going. Um, basically it's very very simple. Um, you import the printer from the GitHub repo which I'll put in the comments. You tell the script where the printer is, how it's plugged into the Raspberry Pi. Um, I can show you that real quick on the camera. It's basically two wires to plug it in. One is the yellow wire from the printer which goes into the GPIO pin 6 I think it is and then the black one goes into ground so there's only two pins there that you need to use um, ok so the script basically yeah, tells you, you tell it where the, where the printer is plugged into what GPIO pin and then you open the log file which, kid, which Kippo uses and you basically have a, a, a loop which it it, look, look, it, it, it um, reads the last line of the log file, and if the line is different to what it read previously, which means if it's if it's a new line that's been added to the log file, which means something's happened to Kippo, on Kippo, it sends prints text to the to the thermal printer, and basically does two line feeds, which which makes the paper go up a little bit, so you can see what the message says, and it just runs through that loop constantly as the program's running. So um, if you have any questions, please let me know in the, in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them for you. Uh, I'll see how long it takes for this paper to run out. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.